A family heartbroken and still searching for answers five years after their loved one was killed. Hello everybody, I'm Tracy Carlos. Thanks for being with us, I'm Mike Brookbank. Stephen Halton Jr.'s family asking for the public's help once again tonight to find his murderer. People see our face and they see the smile, but you don't know behind the smile is so much pain. News 5's Amanda Van Allen takes us to the Cleveland Church where they're keeping Stephen's memory alive. Stephen Halton Jr. His family described him as loving, kind, and full of life. Every single day for the past five years, they've been trying to figure out who killed him. Today, they gave him a celebration of life. They spent Sunday evening remembering the good times. When you think of Steve, you think of like, just this awesome, awesome guy. <laughs> but behind the songs and dances are years of grief. It's going to be all right. And for me to be here today without him five years later, it's terrible. Sharice Halton's husband, Stephen Halton Jr., was killed five years ago, and his attacker is still on the loose. The entire Halton family, including the victim's two kids, gathered with their church family to remember him and ask the public once again for help. I have to raise two kids. I have a really good support system, but it's nothing like their father. For us to be living this still at five years. I don't think any of us believe that that would have happened. Stephen Halton was shot and killed while waiting at a bus stop in January of 2014. He was on his way to work at the Cleveland Clinic. When you don't see it on the news as much, you think it's been solved, you think it's been answers have been resolved, um, and that's not the case. Cleveland police have never named a suspect in his murder, but his family is not giving up hope. The older they get, the harder it gets for me because now I have to relive every moment that I had with Steve just so my kids will know about their father when they should know about their father from him being here. Look at my kids in their eyes and just help us get closure for them if you don't want to get closure for no one else. If you know anything that might be able to help Cleveland police find Halton's attacker, make sure you contact them. In Cleveland, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.